something that we normally associate with Lent. Let's face it, we're probably going to give up something that brings us joy. Fasting and self-discipline have always been a feature of Lent, but this penitential aspect can seem somewhat negative and we may enter this season with a heavy heart. And yet one of the prefaces of the Lenten Masses reads, each year you give us this joyful season when we prepare to celebrate the Paschal Mystery with heart and mind renewed. This puts our Lenten practices into context. It is essentially a time for renewing our lives as Christians. Lent is a time of spiritual renewal, and this can be a joyous thing. And this is what lies at the heart of Lent. We are spiritually recharging and renewing ourselves in faith for the biggest event of the church's year, the marking of Christ's death and resurrection. So this Lenten season, let's focus on some things that we can do to prepare for his and our joyous rebirth. A great way to remember joy is to celebrate it at every Mass when we celebrate Christ's resurrection, his victory over sin and death. Lent is a time to give of ourselves just as Jesus gave himself for us. But let's do it joyfully. When Lent falls during the cold months, helping those without a home can be especially meaningful. And we think today of all the displaced people who have lost their homes. Remember, when we feed the hungry, give drink to the thirsty, welcome the stranger, clothe the naked, visit the imprisoned, we do these things to Christ. To bring joy to the least of these brothers and sisters is to bring joy to Christ and ultimately to bring joy back to our hearts. The best way to hear God's word for our lives is to pick up his word and read it. Pope Francis says reading the gospel every day reminds us of the joy that Christ offers and how we can experience it today. Try to find joy in the little things. A lot of what God does for us goes unnoticed. By praying to the Holy Spirit to open our eyes, we can find more reasons to praise him and more reasons to find joy. St Benedict urged his monks to go the extra mile during Lent Take on some additional sacrifice, but do it with a smile. Yes, we'll experience some suffering during Lent, but suffering is compatible with joy. Jesus rejoiced that he could suffer for our sake. It's proof of love. I once heard Lent described as a three-legged stool, comprising of fasting, prayer and almsgiving. 
take away one single leg and it tips the other two off balance. So as we examine ourselves in the three aspects of Lent, let's consider how we might do it with joy. And we pray, O oh God, we thank you for another day and our part in it. Help us to see you in all things and to welcome you and the stranger that together we may share the joy of faith in you. And we thank you for a day well lived. Amen.